Yes? Yiku kulo no ba mulera chikun. Tong hit kun chunching. Ne boboje mata ne punage. Dulpi kikurana. Jedo ba do wana ni di bobo. Tong nabung sha nununya. Tong patukash mak telea. Runda di ho tonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule. Tong king ba nunotek. Tuk nin chatu kun ne mule rabes. Muchishak pa khat. Kiye nuno dama paole rachikun. Ka chikun ita haodonga, ikin kuno pa mule ra chikun. Slimo po dona rundi haodonga ku hunkabe. Runda di haodonga kun hunkabe. Wana kun bez ching pala mule tungking ba nunotek. Tuk nin chatu kun ne mule ra bez. He makes a good case. It's not like you'd be stealing or killing anyone or anything. I'm not an expert on the Jedi, but this seems like the kind of thing that could get a person into a lot of trouble. Tong abog sha umni nong wanga kundis king balemuraya. Choni yon tun chichi ida duana. Kava volpa mulje gumana. Chi gratu loda bograshi onni un kompa chin tomo mochuba. Loda di ta kun. I da patisa batua kacha tu tong bagra sha kun ti cha ka um chuba ka ha chopa chawa chwish yunku jodo jid bunga rantang atuta wonga kun bis dolpi kikuyana tong patugas mak elia jedo ba doana ni mucha sha I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. I have spoken to the Council, and they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself, and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. Quatra's methods may seem strange, but I trust her wisdom. This lesson has been difficult, but I am better because of it. Humility is never easy to teach, but now I truly understand my own limitations. After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone. To explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide. You. Back to the light. When I left, Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy. And she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training. Though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. Hey. I'm glad to see you're not getting hung up on all this. The past is in the past, you know? First the Jedi trick you into becoming an enemy, then they welcome you back as a friend. I can't say I approve of their training methods. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. You have done a great thing. One of our own had strayed, but you have returned Juhani to the Order. For this, you deserve the highest praise. Ah, Akupa? Jedo ba do wan...
Trump. Qui est non non dans ma parler Oh. Mouche. You have done well, my pupil. The ancient grove has been purified, and Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because of you, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side. As are we all. She struck her master in anger during her training, and injured her greatly. But it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way, and it seems to have made its point. Juhani has been redeemed, and you have passed your final test. Congratulations, Apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our Order. See, Johnny has returned to the way of the light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate. But he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. Be sure to bring Bastila with you. There is a powerful link between you, and you will need to draw strength from each other during the trials ahead. I demand justice! The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine. They must be punished. The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Metale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof. And we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals, if there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing! How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk! I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own! As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised, Alan Matali, we will look into a son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. If Shen Matali has not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. They must not allow that to happen. Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. 
It is in our real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. The task has its own importance. It may also serve to divert our minds for a short time. Something which carries its own rewards. Have you found the Mandalorian raiders yet? Not much that would help you, I'm afraid. They're Mandalorians in their battle armor with some Duro's allies. They came down on us on land speeders, so they could be anywhere by now. One thing I do remember, when those dogs killed my Ilsa, is that their leader was a giant of a man who wielded a lightsaber. Mandalorians have never been open to your ways. They are much too barbaric and violent. I rather think that it may have been from some poor Jedi he had slain before, you can see now that he is as much of a threat to you as to me. You must kill them. They have been troubling farms in the south most recently, having already dealt with many to the north. Please go there, find them, and kill them. Have you found the Mandalorian raiders yet? Good, good. Put them down like the animals they are. But now that you've killed some of them, they won't stop until you've defeated their leader. You must find him and kill him too. Thank you, young Jedi. Oh, thank you, thank you! I don't know what I would have done if I had lost him. It's just so great to have him back. We're just gonna go right home, right now, and celebrate. Aren't you my lovely little droid? Don't worry. I'm gonna hug you, and oil you, and care for you, and make sure you never, ever get away again. wife and children instead. Anything! <laughs> ah, wife and children. Sounds like a good idea.
This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? You have come from the Jedi Council. Master Matali wishes to speak with you. I will inform him that you are here. Remain at this location until he arrives. My protocol droid tells me you are here on behalf of the Council. I was beginning to think my demands had been ignored, though I think your time would be better spent interrogating the Sandals as to the whereabouts of my son Shen. I have already told my story to the Council. Why did they not inform you of my circumstances? I did not expect such incompetence from the Jedi, but I shall repeat the tale once more. Many years ago, I brought my family here to Dantooine to escape the crush of humanity on the core worlds. Soon after we settled here, the Sandrils arrived, and they have been a plague upon my house ever since. The injustices the Sandrils have committed against the Matales are far too numerous to name. But the Council is well aware of our many disputes. Recently, I discovered several Sandril droids trespassing on my land. I have no idea what nefarious purpose lay behind their arrival. My own assassination, perhaps? Destruction of my property? Maybe a simple spy mission? I wasn't about to find out. My own security droids destroyed the invaders. Not a single one survived. It was shortly after this incident that Shen, my only son and heir to the Metali estate, vanished. Obviously, Nurik, the unscrupulous head of the Sandral clan, has abducted my son in retaliation for the destruction of his droids. Follow their stink south of here and you shall find them. I demand action on this matter, Jedi. Why does the Council insist on stalling? The life of my son is at stake. Is it possible... Yes, of course. Now I understand. I am a man of the world, Jedi. I know how things are done. I will make a contribution of a thousand credits to the Council in exchange for rescuing Shen from the Sandals. I will present the credits directly to you, of course. Whether the Council ever learns of this donation is completely up to you. Nevertheless, my offer still stands. A thousand credits for Shen's safe return. Know, however, that I will not sit idly by much longer. Eventually, I will take whatever action is necessary to rescue my son, including raising the entire Sandral estate. Until you find Shen, Jedi, we have nothing further to discuss. I suggest you hurry south to their estate, lest I take matters into my own hands.
Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. This is the meddler. You have caused us far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared.
This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? The council. If you are here because of Shen Makali's disappearance, you are wasting your time. The Sandals are not involved. This is nothing but a Makali witch hunt. Nurek left orders he was not to be disturbed, but given the circumstances, I will make an exception. Go into the main hall. Nurek will meet with you there. I have been informed by my protocol droid that you wish to speak to me. Cassus is dead. I was afraid of this. Yet in my heart I knew it must be true. What what happened to my son? Cath hounds? I, I was so certain the Matali family was to blame. But this changes nothing. My own son is dead. Why should I shed one tear about the disappearance of my bitter enemy's son? Typical. Anything to continue the feud which has become so customary to you people. I must ask you something, though it is difficult for me. My son had a diary, his private personal thoughts. Now that he is gone, I have nothing else to remember him by. Please, the diary means more to me than it ever could to you. I will give you a hundred credits for its return. I did not realize the Jedi were such cold-hearted monsters. Very well. You shall have your two hundred credits. Here. Your actions show you are overly focused on material wealth. This is not the way of the Jedi. You will have to learn to let go of your greed if you wish to walk in the light. We have nothing further to discuss. Please, leave me to my grief. You are here from the Council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? My name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief, and he is convinced the Metales are responsible. He is not thinking rationally. Cassus is dead? It is as I feared. Though I'm relieved the Metales are not responsible. My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. You must understand that father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. My father has kidnapped Shen Metale. He is holding him prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Metales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Metales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I am afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. 
The Jedi Council does not have the authority to search our estate, and if Father finds out his secret has been revealed, he might kill Shen right away. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. Alan Matale and my father have had problems ever since they settled on this world. To hear my father tell it, Alan is a brute and a bully, but a rich one. He feels his credits give him the right to step all over normal people. My father stands up to Alan because no one else will. But now he thinks Alan has taken my brother Cassus and has imprisoned Shen as revenge. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. Please, 
find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. Shen and I, we... Well, we have been taught by our families to hate each other, just for being related to our fathers. But I met Shen alone one day in the city, away from his father. And, and Shen was so charming, so sweet. He didn't care at all that I was a Sandral. He just accepted me for who I was, with no reservations. We talked and met again over months and fell in love. My brother Cassus met him too, and they were beginning to become friends. But then this whole mess had to happen. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. Who are you? What do you want with me? Are you working for my father? Rescue me? No. I won't leave. It's too dangerous. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandra doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. My father thinks the Sandrals are thieves and liars who followed him here to Dantooine just to steal what he has earned for himself. My father is an egotist and can be violent at times, but I think he still cares for me. Rahasia's father seems to be falling into the same pattern as mine. They're both too unreasonable to be talked to about the other. I think the only hope Rahasia and I will ever have is if we can escape both of them. Please, find Rahasia and speak to her. Get her to flee this place with me. What are you doing here? Have you found Shen yet? Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't risk it. 
But I know Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry. You're back. Have you spoken to Rahasia? I pray she is not just telling me what I want to hear, but I will have to take that chance. Hurry then, we must not keep Rahasia waiting. Shen, you're safe. Rahasia! Well, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. No, we know that you must have gone to great personal risk to get us out of the Sandral State undetected. But surely we can... There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahesha! Father! Mr. Sandral! Nurik! Alan! I knew this was all your doing. I knew you had captured my son. You had taken my Cassus from me long before that. You started it. I don't want to hear any of your excuses. Now I will get revenge for your transgressions. Please listen to him, Father. Why should I listen to the Jedi? All you want is to remain with that sandral harlot. My daughter is not a harlot, Matale dog! We are trying to be reasonable here, of course. We are sensible people, after all. But our children are being so stubborn. If Shen would just understand that he has to do what I want, this would all be solved easily. No! I won't let you do this! I don't care. Rahasia and I will live on our own if you won't accept us. You will do no such thing! I am your father, and I order you to come back with me! No, father, I won't. Rahasia, you will not leave with this... this Matale boy! I am, father, and you can't stop me! We're leaving for the Enclave. You foolish girl! You expect us to just let them leave? Droids, stop them! You will not turn your droids on my daughter. Droids, don't let them take Rahasia! We appear to be at an impasse then. And they got away! It is your fault, darling. You were always too violent for your own good. Me? You were the one who rushed out here with war droids. I will not rest until I have my Shen back. The Council will hear of the troubles you cause, Jedi. Indeed they shall.
Now those Mandalorians know what it's like to be hunted, but now that you've killed some of them, they won't stop until you've defeated their leader. You must find him and kill him too. Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Here is the reward I promised you. Again I thank you. I will be sure to tell the Council of your great deed. Oh, my God. 
I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. <laughs> I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? <laughs> It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. There must be some mistake. The droid is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Starforge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. Though in fact, it could be anything. Maybe. That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. But I suspect the Starforge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. These builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy. But they never constructed an empire. 
In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. must be talking about poor Nemo. The council sent him here to investigate, and it cost him his life. Revan and Malak unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Starforge. Now Malak is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. The Republic is depending on us. Sure. 
be what Revan and Malik found when they entered this temple. This must be where their journey down the dark side began. This is a, a map. Some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malik must have used this to lead them to the Starforge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Starforge ourselves. But we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. I, I don't know, but Revan and Malik were very interested in finding it. It must be a tool of some type. Or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the Council can tell us more. But I think this map might be the key to finding the Starforge. Whatever it is. See this world here? This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashyyyk. And Tatooine. And here's Manan. But there are pieces missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates. Corrupted data. And there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Starforge itself might be. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Starforge. But I know that Revan and Malik visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces they'll lead us to the Starforge. And some way to destroy it. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action. Though I suspect our task has only just begun. Thank you for exacting my revenge on those Mandalorian beasts. If only I could have been the one to tear out Sharuk's heart. young Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? This news of a Starforge is disturbing. 
Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the Star Forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi know victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Star Forge. But all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban. And we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war, by defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith, but it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you, for there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. Of course, those who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you. A safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. Shen and Rahasia have been welcomed here in the compound for as long as they wish to stay. I am glad that your help enabled them to remain together. Thank you, thank you. I don't know what I would have done if I had lost him. Oh, it's just so good to have him back. We're just going to go right home, right now, and celebrate. Aren't we my lovely little droid? Don't worry. I'm going to hug you and oil you and care for you and make sure you never get away ever again. Please kill me. <laughs> Thank you.
Raheji and I cannot thank you enough for what you have done for us. Now we will finally have a place to share our love, without fear of reprisals from our families. We will stay here for the next little while. We're still hoping our parents will learn to set aside their differences and welcome us back into their homes. If they do not, uh, well, perhaps you will travel to Coruscant or to the Core Worlds and make our fortunes there. Good luck to you both. May you find the happiness you deserve. I am sorry we have nothing of value to give you as a reward. Our families have cut us off completely. Had the Council not taken us in, we would be foraging in the wilderness to survive. When I first met Shen, I feared our forbidden love was doomed to a tragic end. But thanks to you and the Jedi Council, our story ends in joy. Antoine is one of our last refuges. The Sith hunt us everywhere. Takumjus Tachmiki Grabelmogo Kachichu Ita Bodunga Tolbabank Waleo Ganda Nalu Chuchut Mogesha Punka Bola Wana Chikne Bamule Slimo Pudada Nanga Kumbist Mule Rabest. Kunhankabi,我的坤杯是金巴拉木勒,通金巴努努德,通金巴努努德,通金巴努努德,通金巴努努德,通金巴努努德,通金巴努努德,通金巴努努德,通金巴努努德,通金巴努努德,通金巴
Ka chi kun ita haudonga, i king kun o pa mulera chi kun. Slimo po dona rundi haudonga ku hunka be. Ka chi kun ita haudonga, i king kun o pa mulera chi kun. Slimo po dona rundi haudonga ku hunka be. Ui ita nandayata. What a yuma wama huhu nandetik a shatung ni patoga wano kuspe ching palamule tonke runda di hotonga kun hanka bi wano kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotek tuk nin chatukun ne mule rabes Kachi kun ita haudonga, i king kun o pa mule rachi kun. Slimo po dona rundi haudonga ku hunka be. Runda di haudonga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching pala mule tung king ba nunotek. Tuk nin chatu kun ne mule rabes. Ui ita nandayata. What a yuma wama huhu nandetik a shatung ni patoga wano kuspe ching pala mule tonke. Ka chi kun ita haudonga i king kun o pa mule ra chi kun. Slimo po dona rundi haudonga ku hunka be. Ka chi kun ita haudonga i king kun o pa mule ra chi kun. Slimo po dona rundi haudonga ku hunka be. Ah, hakupa che kupa? Jin... Jedo ba do wana ni di bobo? Tongai tuam jiji yu. Chipe duana ni mucha achuta. Rundi. Iku kuno no ba mu. Jedo ba. Ka chi kun i achut. Ke puna. Rundi. Ka. Jedo ba. Mucha. Rundi. Jedo ba. Ka. Achut. Runda jedo bado ka chi achuta jedo mu 